We left off needing acceleration. Let's go to the physics component, F12, and add acceleration. Acceleration is just another vector. We've seen that before when we were building our original version of the game, where we would, ex <laughs> where we would accelerate a certain direction. Later you'll see I'll add an angular acceleration, but for now we'll just have angular velocity and add things as needed. Let's say acceleration. Acceleration. Oh, it didn't update. Acceleration gets what is the proper value for acceleration? If you remember in our original implementation of our game, let's see if I can find it. Acceleration. Uh, we don't have the clock quite yet set up the way I want to, so we're not going to use the clock. But then we have this direction to accelerate, which we took from the negative sign and cosine. Hopefully, you remember how that works out. So I'm going to grab this and I think, you know, let's just create a vector in line. So we'll do this, just paste that in there and invoke the constructor immediately and let me put this on a new line, tab that in. We need math for sine, pound include C math. And then vector 3D, we need vector 3D. Put that after input pound include math vector 3D, which we need a using for, using math vector 3D. And that should work out fine, except we don't have ship orientation. Ship orientation is in our parent, so get parent. Uh, orientation, get parent orientation. This code is hideous. Let me see if I can try to clean up this file a little bit. Notice I'm calling get parent, get physics component over and over and over again. And really the controller component only needs to call this once and it's not per update, it's once for its entire life. So I think what we'll do Let's go to the controller component H, override component initialize. Let me grab component initialize, control C, and put it in here. Tab that in. Let's define it. Give it an implementation uh, in the compilation unit. Control V, controller component. Control C, Control V, curly, curly, Control L, enter. We need a pointer to the physics component that we can keep around, so let's add that. Physics component, pointer, physics. We need to forward declare the physics component class in this header file. Physics component, or physics. Gets get parent, get component, physics component. I said physics component. I believe we already included that. We did. And then we shall return physics not null. Obviously, this controller component is not going to work unless we get a valid physics component which we should get through the get component function we wrote to last video. And then I'll just say, hey, if physics is not null, then I'm good to go. Otherwise, this will evaluate defaults and we shall return false. Remember that initialize is invoked by entity. When we call initialize on an entity, it goes through all the components one by one and initializes them. If one of them fails, then it returns false. Uh, but I notice the shutdown does not do its job. That's kind of embarrassing. Let's grab this code, copy, paste. Oh, I feel so bad to copy and paste, but instead I'm going to say shut down right here. We could factor this out with pointer to member functions, but that's way too much work for what I'm trying to accomplish there. And then let's just verify that we're calling shutdown in the game. We say ship shutdown, which we'll call this shutdown, which we'll call all of the shutdowns on the components. I'm going to close this file, close that file. That should run. And then here, instead of saying get parent, get 
all this stuff, I should just be able to say physics. Control C. Uh, oops. Control V. Control V. That's a little more reader readerable. <laughs> and I'm actually going to instead of making a temporary vector here, I'm going to just assign the X and the Y directly. A little more optimized and I think slightly cleaner like so. And then physics, same thing here, but we shall do the Y and we'll say cosine of the orientation like that. So hopefully that's a little more readable. What's wrong? I think that's just IntelliSense crying. Control Shift B, build. Let's see if we build. See what the compiler says about it. I trust the compiler more than I trust IntelliSense. You know that. Build succeeded. Very good. One other way we could do this rotation here. This is nearly the identical code that we wrote in the matrix uh, rotation. So I don't know which one is better. I don't really have an opinion here. But we could say physics acceleration gets matrix 2dh rotate around the z get parent orientation times vector 3d 1 in the x direction and then we'll allow these to default to 0. That would do the same thing and almost feel a little bit better because we're using our rotate code instead of kind of copying and pasting the rotate code like I did here, but I don't know, I'm going to stick with this for now. And then I recall in game, my game, we forgot to call update on input, which should be one of the first updates that gets called. We say input update, chip update, render, go render the scene. I like the order of that, and that also reminds me that when we're building our ship, when we add the components, there's actually a dependency. If I draw, actually I don't need to draw it, I have it over here to the right. If I bring this back in, there's a dependency on which one of these components should update first and draw on that sort of thing. The dependency is controller should do its job first, then physics, then renderers. So even though we have this somewhat uncoupled system, we have a little bit of coupling between the controller controller and the physics component, but I can drop the controller anytime I want to if I want a different type of controller. That's kind of nice. I can swap this portion in and out. But either way, there's there's a priority, and we could set priority order on these different components, and I've seen systems as complicated as having a priority on the components. But the way we're going to set order just to start out with is the order that we add components. So we want to add the controller component first. It doesn't even look like we created a controller component, did we? My game... Uh, we don't even have it! Oh boy, all the stuff I'm leaving out here. Let's add it. I'll say pound include include controller component entities controller component ship controller and then back over here we say add component here add component here the renderer should be first let me grab physics and put physics first and then we don't need this hard-coded velocity anymore we're hoping the keyboard We'll take over and do that. Ship dot add component address of ship controller, and then we do the renderable stuff and add the render. So that's how we shall determine order uh, that of these things updating. Let's build. Just make sure we're good to build still. Build succeeded. Let's run. Ooh, here's hoping. Run. Looks like an assertion failed. Uh, my key mapper. Why did my key mapper fail? Let's look at my key mapper. Control Alt L. My key mapper. And that's, you know, this assertion message, we didn't really put an error message in here, I believe. When we, when we come back and, and write our own assertion method, we can do logging and error and all sorts of fancy stuff instead of saying, hey, it failed. Okay. 
we can do something a little bit better than what we have here. But at least by adding the assert, I can tell I have a bug, which is kind of nice. So let's, let's, that doesn't make sense. We have an action come in, and this action should have mapped to, you know what? Duh. Get key for action. I said switch on action, but then I'm casing on keys. Did you notice that while I was doing that? Look at that copy and paste error I had when I had all that redundant code. Oh, so bad. I need to swap these. I believe that's the issue. That's most likely why we hit that assertion of faults. I'll drop this up there. Put that down there. And same thing here. Grab that. So now I can say, give me the key for this action. Actions are accelerate, rotate, rotate. Let's run this. Here's hoping. There's the ship. I'm going to hit the right arrow and hope that our ship rotates to it. And it's not. Ah! How about I hit the up arrow and try to accelerate. That's not doing its job either. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to debug it offline, come back and show you what the problem is. And I decided not to make another video because it would be an extremely short video. Sorry, but I did go offline and found the error. We did not rotate our sprite to the actual rotation of our underlying entity. So the renderer will do a translation after doing a rotation. Get parent, get parent, orientation, control F5, build and run this. I'll hit the left arrow. You'll see that the arrow keys do not affect our sprite. That's because there is a bug in the way I set up the build configurations about, I don't know, 170 videos ago. We'll fix that bug, but in the meantime, to get around it, I'm going to say build, clean solution that deletes all DLLs, libs, OBJ files, everything that, that is produced from building our project. I'll control F5 this, which starts another build. We'll build all the OBJs, the libs, the DLLs, and our final EXE again. And at that point, you shall see that the ship will rotate when I hit the arrow keys. Here's left arrow, right arrow. Right, obviously, we need to adjust our stretch there of the image. We need to adjust the viewport as we did before when we got this going, but that's pretty cool. Slight bug with my implementation, though. I'm not holding down any keys right now, and the ship's still rotating, so we need to set the rotation to zero in the controller component. We'll say if the action's hot, then angular velocity gets that. Uh, else, if the this action's hot, then angular velocity is that. Else, physics, angular velocity gets zero. Control F5, and you can see I let go of the arrow keys, and we're good to go. So in the next video, I'll show you the build and clean error. Let's get that fixed so I don't have to clean every time. You'll notice when I clean, it takes a long time to build, even if I'm on a solid-state hard drive. So I want to fix that error pronto. And then we can move on from there and continue building our game.